Greetings and welcome to the Digital Banker Newsroom. I'm your host, Mobashir Kazmi, Head of Research at the Digital Banker. And today we have with us Riddhi Dutta, Regional Vice President Asia at Backbase, and Mukesh Pilania, Executive Vice President, Head of Digital Banking at Techcom Bank. Riddhi and Mukesh, it is a pleasure to have you both on the newsroom. Uh, Riddhi, we'll start with you. Uh, perhaps you can share with us how Backbase is helping financial institutions enable successful cross-channel customer journeys via the Backbase engagement banking platform. Thanks, Mubashir. And first of all, thanks for having me here. Uh, you know, Backbase, uh, as you mentioned, uh, we what we bring to the table is uh, is an engagement banking platform. And as the name suggests, an engagement banking platform is that one horizontal uh, layer that orchestrates customer journeys across the entire customer life cycle for any financial institution. So you, you start thinking about uh, customers who are just coming new to the bank. So how do you onboard those customers? Uh, once you have onboarded them, how do you service them for their day-to-day -day banking transactions like payments, uh, managing their cards, portfolio, so on and so forth? Uh, how do you sell more to them in terms of, let's say, can you originate lending products like credit cards, personal loans, auto loans, mortgage, and so on and so forth? And finally, very importantly, how do you retain those customers and make them loyal to your bank and stop them from switching over to the to your competitor across the street, right? So, so that engagement banking platform is that one single layer, one single platform that orchestrates all these different type of customer journeys. And more importantly, it cuts across all lines of businesses. It's not just for your retail customers, but also for your business, SME, corporate customers, as well as for your wealth, HNI, and private customers. And very importantly, it just does not end with the customer persona. It extends to how can the same platform service to your employees who are out there trying to assist your customers, right? Think about uh, you know, what Grab does, what Uber does, where on the same platform, all stakeholders come together, with, whether it's the customers, the drivers, the restaurants, and they work completely seamlessly. That is precisely what Backbase does for banks uh, in terms of cutting across silos, cutting across channels, cutting across customer journeys, and letting banks, very importantly, have that control to truly make that platform their own. Uh, Backbase provides an initial acceleration. Backbase provides that initial kick that banks need. But after that, ideally, uh, and I'm pretty sure Mukesh would talk about it, banks really completely own that platform, and then they build on that to sort of you know make those differentiating customer journeys, unique customer journeys on their own. So I think that's how Backbase has been working with financial institutions across the globe. Uh, at this point of time, we are working with more than 150 financial institutions of different shape, different size. Uh, but the, you, the beauty is that all of them are leveraging on the same platform. They decide what they want to leverage. They decide how much they want to leverage. And they also decide uh, the complete engagement model in terms of how much of Backbase they want to use, how much of their own talent they want to use, and, and it's a good uh, mix of all of that. Fascinating. Thank you for that, Riddhi. Uh, and Mukesh, uh, Backbase's collaboration with Vietnam's tech, Techcom Bank has proved to be a game-changing one. Uh, what makes Backbase uh, such a fit with Techcom Bank's uh, strategic digital transformation and CX vision? So Techcom Bank chose uh, Backbase as its strategic digital transformation partner because the platform's uh, engagement banking platform was an excellent fit, right? So what uh, it helps us to do is uh, the whole architecture of Backbase, the way it is designed, it helps us to create uh, multi-layered building blocks, right? Which allows us much greater agility and, and much faster time to market. So because of that, we could build a lot of journeys uh, ourselves. We could uh, uh, customize uh, based on the, the Vietnamese customer needs, their current level of maturity, their desired experiences, uh, which enabled us, uh, one, to go faster to, to market, plus uh, a much more agility and flexibility to customize it based on the, the, the research outputs and customer feedback. Also on top of it, I think the services uh, from Backpace uh, and the tools uh, for developers, uh, etc., to be trained. For example, their application development support, ADS, their back-based development center. So all those components came together to also enable us uh, build skill sets in-house so that the teams are well-trained and then they can take the code and make sure that uh, they build the journey themselves, which helps us to really uh, be much more flexible in terms of making changes and adapt to the, the market needs much faster. 
Very interesting. Uh, thank you for that, Mokesh. Uh, and really on, on the platform note, what are the highlights of a good platform and architecture for CX? Um, and how has that brought value to a digitally forward bank like Techcom Bank? I think uh, it starts with, you know, it's, it's a very common term in the industry these days, but uh, the devil is in the details, right? Uh, we, everybody talks about microservices, uh, but how granular is an architecture where each capability, and I, when I say each capability, really each capability is an individual microservice. Now, any good architecture, any, any good modern architecture, uh, would ideally be very granular, very modular, like a Lego block, right? Where banks can pick and choose which block to put in at what point of time. And that is how a true microservices architecture uh, comes in there. Uh, second, along with the microservices architecture, to, you know, these days, and especially in, you know, growth economies like Vietnam, we're talking about huge uh, volumes of customers, right? I mean, uh, you know, some of the banks, if you look at the number of digital users that they're having, uh, these are huge volumes. Now, in, in the old school architecture, in the monolith architecture, uh, you really depend a lot on the hardware or the infrastructure to, to sustain those volumes. But in the new, new, new age architectures, it's all about can your microservices scale up uh, at the right point of time to support my growth of users, right? And it's not only just about users. There are, there are times every month, every quarter, when there are more, more uh, demands that come in, there are more peak loads that come in. Can that architecture sustain it? So that's more on the on the microservices, on the scalability and all of it. What is also very important, and that's I think Mukesh was also alluding to it, does an architecture allow the bank to completely own it uh, uh, and not get, you know, what we used to call as vendor lock-in in the old days where, you know, banks will have to come back to a partner, uh, raise change requests, uh, spend time, spend, spend money. Uh, that's, that's not uh, sustainable anymore, right? So going back to the point that you asked, Mubashir, can the architecture have the flexibility at all levels, at the design level, at the journey level, at the underlying microservice level, at the integration level, to let a bank completely own it and do it on their own? So I think these are some of those uh, you know, basic things. But again, as I said, the devil is in the details. A lot of people would come forward and say, yes, I do have it. But how granular is it? How modular is it? Is, is where the differentiation lies. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for that, Ridhi. Uh, and Mukesh, what have been the key highlights and business outcomes for Techcom Bank through this unique partnership? And what are the next steps to this partnership? So one of the key highlights is uh, our ability to continuously create cutting edge experiences for the customers. I think that's a key highlight, the, the kind of autonomous control and the flexibility which we can derive from the, the Backpage platform enables us to keep scaling up, keep introducing new experiences, keep reacting to the market, be proactive and launch new journeys on a fly. So I think that's something which is very, very uh, important. The, the overall uh, robust architecture, microservices based architecture built on a single code base, you know, allows us to, to very confidently, you know, customize uh, wherever required in terms of user interface or, or create any bespoke journeys uh, wherever required uh, and delivered uh, in a synchronous experience across digital or uh, front end for the customer, but also at the same time for the back end for employees to manage the same digital interaction, which is uh, a big uh, benefit uh, so that the, the experience for customer's perspective is consistent across the, the, the digital platforms and as well as if somebody comes to a branch related to all the all the needs. And what is the resulted is that we will we are able to scale up a lot on digital. Uh, currently, uh, we we already have more than fifty percent of our new to bank customers coming from the the digital app, our mobile app, uh, right? So that shows you the success from business point of view. Then, from purely customer experience point of view, if you go to Apple stores or Google store, you will see the Techcombank mobile. Uh, rated almost 4.7, 4.8 stars and with 200,000 plus ratings. So I'm not talking the small uh, sample here, right? So uh, like like Riddhi was saying, so when uh, devil is in the details. So when you look at all these business outcomes, customer uh, feedback, and also the employee side, which is in terms of developing their skill and, and, and uh, being more flexibility in terms of owning the platform and creating multiple journeys. So all three components working uh, very, very well. 
looking forward, of course, we we plan to continuously collaborate, to work with uh, uh, Backways, our, our, our partner, to drive more innovation, to to drive uh, further enhanced digital banking capabilities as we uh, go forward, to drive more and more uh, personalized customer experiences, to leverage our, our three core pillars of digital transformation strategy, which is data, digital, and talent. So how we combine the strength of these three together and to make sure that you provide very personalized data-driven experiences to the customer uh, and continue to be in the leading position in, in, in Vietnam uh, banking market. Absolutely, Mukesh. Uh, data, digital, uh, f- fundamental, and talent. Um, uh, really, uh, please share with us how Backbase is deepening its platform as a service business to enrich operational processes and ultimately digital CX. Uh, good question, Mubashir. So I think uh, you know, essentially what we, when we talk about platform as a service, it's essentially we have taken a leaf uh, from what Techcom Bank did. And, and frankly, what Techcom Bank did a couple of years back with Backbase was also an eye opener for us that hey, this model can also exist, right? And today, you know, today we are proud of talking about our collaboration with Techcom Bank. So essentially, when we talk about platform as a service, it means we are letting more and more enterprise tier one banks like Techcom Bank use that platform in a complete headless manner, right? Uh, essentially, the theme is this, that there are a lot of industrialized banking services which are available which with which a bank is not going to be differentiating from its competitors. Very simple example, right? Uh, how you logging, how your customers are logging in, how you are setting their, let's say, entitlements, uh, how you are setting up their limits. These are hygiene. These are basics, but these are required. Uh, would you would a bank want to start building these capabilities on on the basis of which they are not going to differentiate? Our recommendation is don't. Use platforms like Backbase, which are industrializing these capabilities and giving you that base, that fundamental uh, platform and that acceleration that you need uh, to launch. Now, on top of that, as Mukesh was saying, and that is where Techcom Bank becomes very unique, start building those unique journeys, which is where you differentiate as a bank, right? And that is what our platform as a service is all about. Use that platform in a headless manner, take the industrialized microservices, take the industrialized backend Uh, applications that we have built, use them as the acceleration. And on top of that, because of the flexibility of the platform, start building those unique customer, you know, differentiated journeys. As Mukesh mentioned, I think today, uh, we also, when when we talk to other prospects, we show the Techcom Bank app on the App Store and say, this this does not look anywhere close to how a Backbase uh, app looks like. And that is the power of the platform, that Techcom Bank was able to take that platform, build journeys, custom journeys, unique journeys, and use that platform as a service component, right? So I think that is how we are deepening this today. This is a discussion happening more and more with enterprise tier one banks uh, who has that uh, vision, who has that dream, and also they have the wherewithal uh, to invest in people to sort of completely, you know, build, uh, train, certify, and then start building on top of a platform, right? So it, it, this is, I think, where the next five years of, uh, you know, the engagement banking, digital banking discussions are going to happen. Gone are the days where, you know, anybody can come in and say, you know what, I have an 80% fitment to your requirement. Uh, take this and you'll be going up and running. That That's not going to happen because requirements are becoming more unique. And I don't think any platform, any product can come in and say I can do all of it. So this is how we are also, you know, fine tuning our pitch. This is how also you know, how we are fine tuning our go to market. Uh, and we are seeing that it is resonating. Uh, it, it is resonating with uh, technology heads, with digital heads, with even with uh, they do understand the value of something like this. Indeed, it is. Uh, thank you, uh, Riddhi and, and Mukesh, for those terrific insights. Uh, we really appreciate your time today for sharing Backbases and TechCom's perspectives uh, here in the newsroom. Uh, to those watching, please stay tuned for some more great content coming your way through the Digital Banker Newsroom. Uh, thank you, uh, Riddhi and Mukesh, for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Mubashir. Thank you. Thank you.